Hey everybody, welcome to 13.3. This is your host, Mr. Gillis speaking. And today we're gonna to talk about areas of circles. All right, so um, I'm gonna start by giving you the um, formula that you can use to find the areas of circles. And then we'll look at a couple different examples. Um, and I think it'll go pretty quick for you today. It's really not all that complicated. Um, so let's uh, get started. For the key idea today, it says the area A of a circle is the product of, so we're multiplying, pi and the square of the radius. Okay, so if I were to write that as an equation, it would be A equals pi, product of means times, the square of the radius, so radius squared. A equals pi r squared. Okay, so we just need to take pi and multiply that by our squared radius. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in an example. We got A and B here for the first one. It says, find the area of the circle and use 22 sevenths for pi. All right, so my formula is area equals pi r squared. And I'm going to use 22 sevenths for pi. And I need to multiply that by my radius squared. Okay, well, my radius is 7. And 7 squared means 7 times 7, which is 49. Okay, so I need to multiply pi times 49. And that is a fraction is 49 over 1. I'll simplify before I... Uh, multiply, so dividing each of these by 7 would give me 1 and 7. And then I can just multiply across. So 22 times 7 would give me uh, 154 over 1, which is just 154. And uh, my label would be centimeters squared. Remember, anytime we're dealing with area, we're dealing with square centimeters or square inches or square units. All right, for letter B, I'll do the same. Area equals pi r squared. And this time I'm using 3.14 for pi. So I will take 3.14 and multiply that by uh, 26 is my diameter. Okay, we want the radius. So remember, the diameter is, or the, excuse me, the radius is half of the diameter. So half of 26 would give me 13. And then I have to take the square of that. I need my radius squared. So 13 times 13 would be 169. And then I just multiply 3.14 times 169. A little plug and chug with the calculator here if you want, and that should give you 530.66, and again, inches squared. All right, so really, uh, I want you to be able to use this formula, A equals pi r squared, uh, for the first types of sets of problems. Uh, please pause the video now to try one and two on your own. Okay, for number one, if you did that correctly, you should come up with about 113 and four hundredths feet squared. And for number two, again, it gives you the diameter. So make sure you half that to find the radius. So it'll be 14 and then take 14 squared times 22 sevenths. And you should get about 616. And again, we are meters squared. All right, moving on to example two, we have a little bit of a word problem here. It says you want to find the distance the monster truck travels when the tires make one 360 degree rotation. Okay, so here's a tire. Let's say it starts right here and it makes one 360 degree rotation. Which best describes this distance? Okay, the radius. Well, no, remember radius is 
half of the diameter. That really wouldn't tell me how far I went. Now the diameter is the distance across the tire. I don't know if that's going to tell me how far I went. What is this distance, the distance around a circle? Well, that would be the letter C, the circumference is the distance around a circle. That's how we can find out how far we went uh, with one tire rotation. The area would be like how much surface it covers on this 2D plane. That's, that's not going to tell me how far I went. Okay, so definitely letter C, the circumference of the tire is that is that measurement. Uh, go ahead, pause for the third on your own, kind of similar to that. It says you want to find the height of one of the tires. Which measurement would best describe the height? Okay, so if I were trying to find the height of this tire, I'd say it's the distance from here to here, from one side to the other, and that would uh, <clears throat> definitely be the diameter. Would best describe the height of the tire. Okay. Last example here. I know we're going kind of quick, but um, hopefully you're picking up on it. If you need if you need more questions again, be sure to ask. It says find the area of the semicircle, uh, the semicircular orchestra pit. Okay, so we're trying to find the area of the red region here. This is the orchestra pit. The area of the orchestra pit is one half the area of a circle with a diameter of, of 30 feet. Okay, so a couple things that are important here. If we were to envision this as a full circle, we know how to find the area of a first full circle. It's area equals pi r squared. Since we're just finding the semicircle, half of that, we would divide that by 2. Okay, so let's uh, plug in a few of the measurements we know. Uh, pi, we'll just use 3.14 times my radius squared. Well, I know my diameter is 30. So my radius, half of that would be 15, and I have to square that. Okay, and then divide by 2. So let's do a little math. 15 squared would be uh, 225. So 3.14 times 225 divided by 2. Again, if you want to do a little plugging and chugging here in your calculator, that's fine with me. 3.14 times 225 and then divide by 2. You should get um, an area um, of the orchestra pit is 353. 0.25 feet squared. Okay, and again, a couple important things there. Realizing they're giving you the diameter, so we have to half that to find the radius. And also, we're only concerned about the semicircle, so that's why we divided by two. We didn't want to know the area of the entire circle, it's just half that. Okay, so pause the video here for four, five, and six to find the areas of these semicircles. Right, let's do number four together. Uh, my diameter is eight, so my radius would be four. So I'm going to do um, area equals 3.14 times uh, radius squared. My radius is four. Four times four is 16. Okay, so uh, 16 times 3.14 would give me uh, 50. 0.24. But remember, that would be for an entire circle. We need to divide that by 2 since this is a semicircle. So you should get 25 points. Yeah, it's really easy. 25 point, half of 24 is 12. So 25 and 12 hundredths meters squared. Okay. You'll do number 5, very similar to that one. You should get about uh, 9.8125 square yards for number five. <clears throat> and number six, you should get your given radius this time. So that's at least one less step. 189.97 centimeters squared. Okay. 
And that's, that's all I have for today. Uh, short and sweet on areas of circles. Please let me know if I can clear anything up for you. Again, here is our big idea, the A equals pi R squared using that formula to find area of a circle. Thanks for checking this out. I'll see you next time.